Hey guys, so as the title says, today we're gonna to be talking about Carly. If you haven't heard about them, read their reviews. Everybody has great things to say about them. Uh, this just plugs into your OBD2 port. You can do diagnostics and coding and use car checks. And it's basically a must have if you enjoy working on your own car and saving money and not going to the dealership. So I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. We're gonna go over some of the features and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So today's test car is my 2010 M3. Obviously this will work with any other BMW and they also do it with other German cars, Mercedes, Porsche, Skoda, uh, Volkswagen, Audi. So this plugs in right here, OBD2 port. It lights up when it says it's connected. All right, first things first, once the adapter's put in, let's make sure we're connected to the Carly adapter Wi-Fi network, which we are. Then we're gonna go to the app, Carly. I was already connected, so stay connected, but obviously you're gonna connect it. Uh, so let's try something out here. Let's see, check a used car. Start your used car check. Here we're gonna see, this is gonna take a few minutes. Obviously I'll speed through this, but uh, we're gonna see if the mileage has been tampered with. This is actually a fairly common thing with used cars. And we're gonna see if my car, which let's hope not, uh, let's, ha let's hope it's got the correct mileage and we're gonna find out here in a minute. Okay, so that actually only took about 45 seconds. Carly has detected no tampering. That's great news. Let's go into the mileage. Current mileage, I have 89,000 miles, 143,000 kilometers. Current mileage from dashboard, 143,000 kilometers. So again, no tampering. If you wanna do your own pre-purchase inspection, this would be a good thing to do, obviously, on a car that you're checking out. So now, let's perform a diagnostic. Basically, this can go through a, everything. Uh, literally a full diagnostic motor control with the brakes airbags transmission AC and heating cruise control sunroof audio a lot of stuff start to diagnose This does not take as long as you would think and then the number of found fault codes will show up right here I know I'll have one there. We go. I just found it uh, because my car is a pre LCI and I installed the LCI taillights and then I never coded out the fault um, for the car realizing that it's got oh we've got two let's see what that is that's interesting okay so here's one of the faults ABS DSC let's see what that is something that I didn't know anything about well looks like I've got that to worry about next <laughs> uh, everything else no faults found that's good that's good as expected and then here on the body found faults break force display right the right that's a message I get on iDrive all the time it says right brake lamp might malfunction because of the aftermarket LCI lights um, but anyways if you're running a diagnostic on your own car and say you've got these faults that come up basically I selected that fault already then you can clear them by pressing start clearing down here and this will clear them out okay that cleared them if you're doing a pre purchase inspection which can cost up to three hundred dollars uh, this is good to do if you're doing it yourself because obviously this is going to do everything that they can do there at the dealer. So let's do that one more time and see since I cleared that other fault of the DSC malfunction that I didn't even know I had. Actually I take that back a few times since I bought this car that code has come up so maybe now that I'm doing this video it's coming up and it might be something I'll have to look into later and get fixed. Hopefully it's not the module. I think those are kind of expensive. Nope, that cleared it. One fault code found, which was just my tail lights. So the ABS DSC brake malfunction I had, I cleared that out and everything's good. As if you own a BMW, sometimes you know these codes will pop up, then you can turn the car off and it, they go away. That's actually good that came up because that goes to show how easy it is to clear codes with Carly. So let's go back and I can show you some of the features you can do to customize it. Check coding possibilities. Just to give you some examples, you can fold the mirrors when you lock the car uh, or vice versa, unlock and they fold down. You can make the halos brighter, uh, things like that. So let's go into this real quick. So this is checking the compatibility for the coding. Once it's finished, it's only taken about 40 seconds here, 45 maybe. We'll hit OK here at the bottom. So here we have the comfort access, the locking, 
uh, the heating, the dashboard, like the digital speed layout on the instrument cluster, the lights, you know, the footwell lights and the mirrors, the alarm sound, um, iDrive stuff. So basically I'll just go into one of these real quick so you can see. And this here only takes like 10 seconds, if that. Basically you go into these and it'll you can unlock the hidden features that are already in your car. So you're not actually tampering with the car and doing things that'll mess it up and cause a bunch of electrical issues. These are just hidden features that you're unlocking using the Carly app. So digital speedometer, on or off. Uh, corrected speed or the true speed. Um, blank information display and dashboard, on off. The speed limit warning, the temperature warning, on off, ignition key. Uh, a lot of things that you can turn on or off that um, light sensitivity, gear shift indicator, a lot of things you can turn on and off that normally you wouldn't be able to um, just going through the iDrive system. So, well, that's pretty much Carly for you. Like I said, I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and kind of just skim the surface of what Carly can do for you and it's in all its features. Check the description box. I've got my link there where you can buy the app and the adapter. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care guys.